<laughs> the little icon. <laughs> the logo. Nice. The Hawk Zombie Bookstore Murder. Please play this game with your mouse, okay? Interact, open menu, left click and drag, scroll item list, okay? So this is the Hawk Zombie Bookstore. If I could just get the camera to focus. There! What? <laughs> I forgot the voices I gave you guys. Other than the one with the, she talks like this. Emilios, move your ass so I can get a full shot of this place. Surely this little video of yours will be better with me in it. Only if you turn around. But truly, this place is wonderful, right, Heather? Wait, which which voice I, was it like this? Or was it like this? Well, it was like this, wasn't it? It's great, but I can't wait to get my hands on the zombie manuscript. Just imagine all the details we may find out about the feathered dead and the rituals. And the rituals. <laughs> Terry, I love you, but you seriously flew us all the way to Canada to find a ratty old book? Could you have gone back to Greece or something? I've heard the island of uh, Sycamus is wonderful this time of year. Pudding? Oh no. Ultimate murder Santa clone. <laughs> Maddie, this is the only remaining manuscript about the feathered dead. Just think about what we can learn from it. <laughs> My voice hurts. My throat hurts already. I've heard some of the rituals are voiced or celebrations focusing around the hog zombie. It'll be incredible to share some of them with the world. And then... Blah blah history stuff. At least it isn't bones this time. I think it's nice. Heather and Oswald invited us because they wanted to spend more time with us. I think it's... Uh... Oh. And I've heard there are some wonderful paste, uh, patisseries around... I don't know what... What is that word? Patis... Pat pastry? Man, I don't know, God. In that case, let me, let's get this over with and I can go enjoy our vacation. You guys go ahead. I'll catch up in a minute. Ha! You made her a smoker! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Holy fuck! Her fucking, her fuck, her, her fucking voice is canon! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> hey, can I get a light? Sure. Have a good day. Ah, uh, push. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> Look at all this history. Oh my gosh, the cafe is so cute. And those pastries look tasty. This store is both of my favorite series. Same alley... Same alley... Oh wait. So as both of my favorite series, say the Melaru, Mel 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 I don't know. Uh, welcome, welcome. It's so nice to have you visit the Hog Zombie Bookstore. It's been in my family for generations, and the tales held inside are my pride and joy. Gonzalo, <laughs> thanks for having us. We've been looking forward to seeing the zombie manuscript in person, and I'm looking forward to visiting the cafe of that cafe. What? Why? Why does he have such a huge bolt? Good God. <laughs> this game. <laughs> of course, of course. All in good time. Let me introduce you to the rest of the staff first. This is Elizabeth, my manager, who keeps this place in tip-top shape. And this is Darius, who's been working here for almost six years now. Time sure flies. It's nice to meet you all. Now, about the manuscript? No need to rush. You can look at it soon. But first, please enjoy all the Hawk Zombie Bookstore has to offer. Gonzalo, you forgot about the Hawk. Right! One of you will need to wear this today. His tradition, anyone who wants to look at the Hawk Zombie Man- at the zombie manuscripts needs to spend a few hours as the Hawk to really get into the mood. But since there are so many of you, it's fine if only one of you wears it. Elizabeth made this with her own two hands. Isn't it incredible? The first time I saw it, I knew it had to become a tradition. Darius usually wears it, but today he needs to man the register. Feel free to look around a bit and then let me know who will be wearing the hawk. <laughs> Welcome back, Dora. <laughs> That's the, uh... Should we decide to, uh... Look around, whoops. There we go. 
I thought I could... Oswald, look. It's the zombie manuscript. Get a good shot of it. I'm trying. You're in the way. This is the whole reason we're here. It's even smaller than I expected. Did I give the Lemire a French accent? I can't remember. They skinned him alive. It also looks pretty dirty. Shouldn't an important book look nicer? You just don't get it. It's hundreds of years old and it's still legible. Few people have even heard of this manuscript, let alone studied it. Indeed, this video of ours will become incredibly popular and be able to spread even more information on history. I guess one of you history geeks should get ready to wear that awful costume. Uh, look around more. Look at this. There are rainbow rats and cardinal fish in this tank. They're so cute. Yeah, also, just to get that cutesy voice you gave him earlier. Yeah, 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 see? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know you knew about fish. You never asked. I started studying ichthyology so I could always carry a piece of the sea with me. Oh, that's beautiful, and... Also, look how lovely these fish are. They perfectly complement my beauty. There's the Emilios I know. Look here, the shop has their own kids' books for the Hop Zombie. 75% off, and yet there are so many stacks of the books still available. Ouch, seems like we're not the only ones who don't like the Hawk. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> I'm sure it's tough to choose who was lucky enough to wear the hawk, but let me know soon! The rest of your group can enjoy some of our cafe's uh, pastries while you wait. Oh, you mean it? C'est malavou! Ah, merely, Magnifique! This is who has to wear the outfit called first in Russia. Fior! <laughs> Sounds like you should make up your mind soon, Terry. Oh, I thought you. I thought they were dolls! <laughs> That's the manuscript. That's the hawk. Oh, that's that's the hawk suit. You decide who. Not to be nice here, but hurry up and have some put on the hawk. Did you mean not to be rude? No, I meant to be rude. Now hurry the fuck up. We're not a fucking twenty-four hour store. Damn. I wonder how much money is in that register. This place sure seems empty. Oh, we mostly take credit cards nowadays. This old thing is just for show. Yeah, I keep snacks in there. Is that why I keep finding fucking crumbs on the goddamn counter? Darius, you know how much shit I have to clean up during closing time? I'm just gonna go. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh, I just hold- oh, I, I hold it. I don't have to- okay. Un extincteur de incendie. Why is that near the counter? It makes sense. Fire in a bookstore would be awful. Especially since the zombie manuscript is right over there. This base what a queen. God, Marvel, 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 Marvel. I, God damn it. Anything other than English, I can't say. And even English, I can't say. True. Better over prepared than under. <laughs> under is what I like to. Mm. I'm glad one of you is wearing the hawk today. It gives me a break from it. It's not so bad, is it? However bad you think it will be, it's worse. Lots of French. Ah, the character. I know him. Oh, Shiny? He's my favorite, but mostly because he makes every scene he's in a light in, a light in someone's life. I had no idea there were fans of him. I thought he would only be popular in smaller circles. I know someone who's even more popular. This guy was sold out yesterday, but luckily we got back in stock of this little guy. Say mignon. It's Madison's favorite character. Think of it as a thanks for keeping me out of the hawk today. All right, I guess we're, uh, looked everywhere. We're picking the hawk now. All right, who's gonna wear it? Who's gonna wear that monstro- Who's gonna- So who's gonna wear that monstrosity? No way. If no one else wants to, I guess I could do it. Not a chance. We're not forcing my poor Lummy to wear- Lummy to wear that thing. I saw him to get a few shots of the shop before we see the manuscript. Wait, if Oswald is busy filming, I would never- and I would never wear such a garish outfit. It only leaves Heather. Wait, wrong accent. God damn it, it only leaves Heather. I agree. Green's your color anyways, Terry. Fuck off. Please? Why the puppy dog face? Fine, but you all blow me big time. 
and watching the six years he wore it. The egg sandwich was alright, but the coffee was a little weak for my taste. Pretty sure there was still some soap in the coffee machine, too. Madison, everything okay? Oh, nothing. I'm having trouble in deciding what yogurt to pair my croissant with. I'm trying to watch my figure. Pretty sure everyone else is watching it, too. Madison, I think the Greek yogurt might be better. It has more protein and while it's more tart, you don't have to worry about excess sugar or fat. A surprise, Lumiere. The croissant is a French pastry. The French's yogurt's flavor have more chemistry with it. Will have more chemistry with it. The creaminess helps the flaky, buttery bits stick faster. Medicine wanted something that won't be too sweet, though. I can assure you, the Greek yogurt sweets more and will only run over the croissant in a watery, hot mess. Sweats more. Her. <laughs> what? Oh, you two. How about I buy both? I'll sample each and let you have the rest. They're not talking about yogurt anymore, are they? And that's a girl treat yourself. What's she seeing those two? Big di I hate you all right now. I want I just wanted to let you know. A few hours later. This has been exhausting. May I go use the loo? Oh, of course! Use the employee bathroom. Here's there's a hook, especially for the hawk. You can't miss it. Is that a no. This day is turning into a nightmare. Ugh, this costume smells even worse than I expected. If I had my way, that thing would already be in the trash. Hey, someone's in here. Turn the lights back on. Oh, you're in for it now, whoever you are. <clears throat> Look at the flaky layers of this millefeuille. Très magnifique, and... Heza? Kala? Hey, Terry, what's the rush? Maybe we should leave her alone. We did force her into wearing that thing. All right, which one of you did it? Was making me wear the hawk not enough? You had to freak me out in the bathroom too. <laughs> this is hurting my throat. <laughs> How'd you get out of your costume so quickly, Terry? And what do you mean, which one of us did it? You know what I mean. Turning off the lights when I was in the bathroom and someone took that ugly hawk. Well, amusing, it wasn't any of us. Yeah, we've been here the whole time. Wait, do you mean that wasn't you who just walked by? <gasps> Hawk, no! <laughs> that was my scream. <laughs> what? 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 How could you do this to poor Hawk? Hold on, it wasn't me. You were the one wearing it all day. Who else could it have been? If you hated it so much, you could have just told us. No need to do this. Oh my god, did they pee on it? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty messed up, dude. Let's all calm down. Maybe there's a reasonable explanation for this. Someone is trying to frame me. A likely story. There's no way I'll let you near the zombie manuscript now. Who knows what you would do to it? How dare you? I would never damage an artifact. I'm going to figure out who really did this, and you better have an apology ready when I do. We've got your back, Heather. We oui, will solve the mystery and clear your name. Trying to cover up your tracks? Fine, but I hope you'll take responsibility once we're, you're finished with this wild goose chase of yours. Yes, I'll make sure your whole group never sets foot in another Canadian bookstore again. He has that kind of power. Ooh, it's like we're detectives. We should get to matching outfits. We should go get matching outfits. Focus, Maddie. I really don't want to be bad from all the Canadian bookstores. Let's get started. If we search carefully, I'm sure we'll be able to find the true killer. Like Wild Hawk Chase. Huh? Where's my lighter? Is that really what you want to focus on right now? Your missing lighter? I love that lighter. It was a gift from my late father. Let me know if you spot it while we're looking. What's in this bag? Ugh, it's full of green fluff. There are needles and threads too. Looks like it's a sewing kit for fixing the hawk. There's an empty knife sheath in here too. Someone must have been in this bag recently. Sewing kit. Poor hawk. Cree illusion. I fucking French. It's a Scooby Doo game. Which one's the dog? <laughs> Huh? Kyrie, uh, do you think that's the name of who did this? 
Oswald, it's Latin. How do you still not know any Latin? <coughs> <It's> woof. <laughs> hey, it doesn't come up too often. Aren't you a historian? Isn't Latin, like, a vital thing for your field of study? Oswald and Heather are a thing, right? And then you got the thruple over here on the uh, right. I'm an anthropologist, not a historian. It's different. Huh. Look at how wet the hawk is. There are puzzles around it. What's so important about the mess? Saltwater can leave stains on clothes. Since the hawk is still dripping, the killer probably has some salt stains on their clothes. Can let us know if you spot any of those stains, Emilios. <laughs> leave it to me. A dried hawk and salt water. Okay. Hey, it's a knife! Looks like it has the same grease as the hawk stuck to it. There's some old glue on the, from the costume on it, too. I wonder if this has anything to do with the hawk's murder. Dirty knife. Hey, there's a note here. It's from Fish R Us. Hmm. Looks like the bookstore called this shop to ask about fish tank repairs. Ooh, fish tank repair notice. Okay. There's some water in this bucket. Looks like there are fish. Carved fish and rainbow rasses, like the ones in the fish tank. Hmm, bucket of fish. And lost and found. Hey, it's my lighter. I guess I did drop it earlier. <coughs> Finally. Ah, uh, mommy needs a cigarette. <coughs> Heather, we're still inside. Shoot, I forgot. We really need to solve this soon. I need a smoke break. Maybe you should try quitting, Terry. It's doing a number on your voice! <laughs> Shut up, it's fine. Some people love my voice. Found Heather's missing lighter. <laughs> okay. Oh, I almost missed that. Look, there are letters from infants to the store. Dear Mr. Hawk, you scared my lot of doll. Go away. Dear Hawk, your feathers make me sneeze. I hate you. Mr. Hawk, my mommy says I shouldn't talk to you again. It's fine, hidden one. It's fine. <laughs> Wow, those kids don't hold back. Does anyone actually like the hawk? I bet all these letters really hurt the killer's feelings, considering how involved all everyone here is with the hawk. Ah, uh, lord. Look how there's been through some stuff! Those poor fish, attacked by a horrible, ugly bird. Wait a minute, where are the fish? Are they just hiding? I did the same if the hawk was shoved into my room suddenly. <laughs> no, there are only so many hiding places in this tank, and not a single fish is in them. Not only that, but the cleaning strip are gone too. What does that mean? Someone must have removed the fish before the hawk was drowned. If we find the fish, perhaps we find whoever did this. Now for f I offer some flopping fish. Don't be a fool. These wonderful, uh, acito, as, uh, actinopetarigans would be finding even a simple bucket of water for a few hours. We just need to keep an eye out for any suspicious liquids. Well, okay, we found the bucket. Okay. So the fish in the bucket came from this tank. True. The killer must really care about these adorable fish. Nuclear. Fish removed. Okay, okay. Who's this? No. Excuse me, sir. Have you been here all day? Did you see who killed the hawk? <laughs> what? Someone killed hawk? Oh, no! I love that dumb green bird. What? What the fuck is my... What is that sh What is that shirt? What shirt am I wearing? So, did you see anything strange today? Hey, babe. How you doing? What is that shirt? You even got the fucking orange and... <laughs> fucking cat here. This is probably one of the most, uh, actually, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, um, flattering, um, depictions of me I've seen. Ask Honey Nut. <laughs> I haven't. Darius has been helping me try to look for a book. All sales final. But we can't seem to find it. Hog Zombie. <laughs> I can't see the book title, though. <laughs> I tried to ask Gonzalo if he has it here, but the guy's been running all over the store today. It didn't seem to hear me. And what's from alien abduction? <laughs> oh, God. 
Wait, which one's the alien abduction? Where's your cat? Look, I got these instead, okay? I like these ones, so shush. Huh, ignoring a customer doesn't seem like Gonzalo we met. Like the Gonzalo. Maybe it's too focused on something else. Customer testimony. I saw the better read you in Zombie Manuscript, I promise. I hope we give this detective stuff up soon so we can all move on with our lives. I was taking care of some business here in the main room and in the office. Before you ask, I didn't see anything until I found the hawk. Poor, poor hawk. Oh, right, right, okay. It's been a while. I, I, I think. I'd have to look it up again. <laughs> Sorry, but I, I kind of remember it. Yeah. It's one of those where, like, yeah, I, it's been a while. Oh, you can go to the cafe. Okay. What? I did. Oh my god, I missed all this. Oh, it's this room. Okay, so we can leave that, that room. See, I thought it didn't go over. There's the cafe. Okay, that's what you meant. What is that in the corner? Ick! What even are those? What dustbinies are so green and bird-like? Ew. They look like they came from the hawk. Green dust bunnies. Let's get the cafe. Mm. My beloveds, I'll be back for you soon. If you keep this up, Madison and I may think you love sweets more than us. No, it is different. You and Madison are me and more, but I cannot eat you. <laughs> Have you tried? <laughs> we'll have to fix that. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck. Can we please focus? <laughs> you can flirt once we solve this murder. Dora. <laughs> That's all reason you told me to go to the cafe. Oh my god. That's the only reason. God, god damn. Oh wait. Oh. These are jugs of cooking oil. They don't seem important. But are they? Haha, <laughs> got him. <laughs> it just it just got him without the ha in the front. Should probably finish questioning you. Should I clue? Um I have no idea what you're talking about. Fish move around all the time. How odd. I don't know why Elizabeth would do that. Remember said it point out any saltwater stains? He's got some on his pants. Oh, those stains? They're nothing. I had to care for the fish tank this morning. <laughs> they must be from that. Oh, salt water on his pants. I'm glad you found your missing letter, but please hurry up and finish your sleuthing. Our customer said, what? <laughs> you must be mistaken. Hmm. That's Elizabeth's sewing kit. She ought to use it to fix the hawk. I guess she won't need to do that anymore. Darius is our longest working employee here at the Hawk Zombie Bookstore. He usually wears the hawk and loves interacting with our customers in it. Uh, where's the kid's letter? Oh, are those letters from children? They're harsh, and I feel bad for Darius since he's the one who usually wears the hawk. I hope he doesn't take any of them personally. Here to cause more trouble. To the gallows. Where were you? I need help some customers. I've been in and out of the cafe. It's not my fucking job to keep an eye on the hawk, so I don't know what you were up to in it. Damn, girl! It's my sewing kit. So what? The fucking fish were purposely moved? I'm going to kill whoever made that mess. If they care so much about the fish, then they could have at least cared about my clean fo floors. Gasol is never careful when he works in the fucking fish tank. I've seen his pants with stains more often than I've seen them clean. I'm the best manager you'll ever see. I spent hours making the hawk, and now look at it. Remember how I said I pointed out so? She's got some on her pants. So, uh, I hate them, but I need to make a bunch of batch of salt water this morning with the, for a new sewing project. Some dyes are goddamn pains to work with, but it looks so good. Hmm. Good spot. No longer, no longer need salt water on floor. Okay. Dirty knife. 
That knife is for my sewing kit. Fucking Hawk had some loose thread, so I had to patch it up yesterday. Yeah, I think so. I never read those letters. I don't care about what those snot-nosed kids say. Our customer is in here most days and always needs help. If he says he saw one of us, then you can trust him. Hmm, green dust. There's more of those fucking things? I just swept up this morning! Darius is a good kid, but he'd be, he'd be better if he stopped leaving goddamn crumbs everywhere on his brakes. Okay. This bird like dust bunny still gross me out. Well, it looks like this extinguisher wasn't touched. Why would it have been? The hawk was drowned. A fire extinguisher isn't neither for that. It's good to double check, no? Ender. What? I've mostly been here running the register. I just have a way to help a customer. Must have been when you killed the hawk. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, Chris? Yeah, he's pretty cool for an old... Why do you cut me so deep? It's pretty cool for an old guy. <laughs> Knows all his employees by name. Too bad the hawk is gone. It was fun dressing up even hey, if the hawk was so ugly. Little man's talking. <laughs> Gasolo is a good boss. What else do you want to say? Elizabeth is scary as hell, but knows what she's doing. Just don't get on her bad side. I've worked here for, for years, and for the most part, haven't had any complaints. Cool. We should take a smoke break once you solve this. So the fish are safe? That's good to hear. Gonzalo often gets salt water in his pants. It's not a surprise. Though I cleaned the tank yesterday, I should have been fine for another few days. <laughs> Guess even Elizabeth can't keep as clean as she likes. Don't know anything about that. Elizabeth handles all the phone calls Gonzalo Gonz Gonzalo is too nervous to make. I forgot to ask her about it. I'll have to ask her. Um, dirty knife. Don't know about the knife. Elizabeth hates when I touch stuff. She's a hog pretty often. Green dust bunnies. Those dust bunnies? They're easy to clean up, but the, they piss Elizabeth off. She hates a mess, especially when caused by the hog. Kids' letters. I've read the letters. The kids don't hold back. And then, um... It's an old book. Who cares? There are new manga out that are way manga out that are way more interesting. Oh, uh, yeah. Repair note. The fish RS note. Gons Gonzalo asked me to call them because the fish tank would be damaged soon. Fucking impressive that he knew before it happened. Oh, really? I know who did it. <laughs> the image. I think it's him. I don't know why, but it's him. I know who did it. Time to accuse. Oh, no. Due to running out of time, this part of the game is rather rushed. Enjoy unfinished cutscenes of strange bugs. <laughs> All right, we're solved the case of who killed the hawk. You tried to cover your tracks to make it seem like I did it, but there's no way we can let you get away with this. The killer is. I I'm thinking it was because he knew it was broken before it was even broken. He dunked the hawk in it, moved the fish first. Yeah. You, Gonzalo, you drowned the hawk. What? I came up with the idea of Hawk. Why would I destroy it? What proof do you have for this accusation? We have three pieces of evidence that prove you did it. The first, pe the first piece of evidence is... Okay, salt water. Okay, so we got uh, fish. the fish removed. I think it threw Paranoat and... The kids' letters, maybe? Look what we found. A note from Fish R Us about repairing your fish tank. Now, how could you know that the tank would need fixed soon? What? I, I want to have the tank checked, that's all. Fish tank was serviced last week. Why would it need to be checked again so soon? This is... Uh, kids' letters? Uh... You said fish removed. You might have thought you were sneaky, Gonzalo, but you were, only you would have thought ahead to remove the fish from the fish tank. 
Only someone who cares for the fish often would take the time to safely remove every fish before putting something strange in the tank. But, but, but surely anyone re would remove fish before drowning someone! Not a chance. Those little shits would have stayed in the tank if I did it. Ha <laughs> ha! Third and final piece of evidence is... I think it's the kids' letters. These letters all say how much the hawks scared these children. There's reason to get rid of it. Look, I know it wasn't the most beloved character, but my god, it was tradition! You started the tradition. Sure, nobody liked it, and it was ugly, and it hurt our sales, and... Gonzalo goes on for Gonzalo goes on for several several minutes. And the shade of green is What's wrong with the shade of green, honey nut? And hidden? Fuck. I lost track. What were we talking about? With that, I think we've proven without a doubt that Gonzalo is the one who drowned the hawk. I'm glad you picked the letters. Why, Gonzalo? You're always claiming that the hawk was great for business. I was wrong. So, so wrong. I'll be going over our sales, and there's a clear correlation between the hawk being out and our profits being lower than normal. I'm aware. I'm the manager here. Did you not tell us because you were worried about hurting my feelings? Yes, I know how much time you put into the hawk, Elizabeth. I didn't want you to feel like your efforts were in vain. That was fucking stupid of you. I've hated the hawk for ages, and I'm pretty sure Darius hates it too. If you talked to us, we could have gotten rid of the hawk sooner. Oh, you're right, like usual. Next time there's a problem, I'll come to you instead of forcing it underwater. Uh, now that we solved the mystery, can we see the zombie manuscript? Oh yes, I guess you've earned it. I did tell you to find the killer after all. I hope you enjoy the tales from the Feather Dead. I approve with some of his. Nice. Give him. Everyone hates Hawk Zombie <laughs> Pudding. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Drown Drought. Good ending. Thanks for playing. Made for the Who Killed Hog Zombie Game Jam. Uh, there's multiple endings? Holy shit. That's ambitious. Cool, good job. Really good job on that. I, I, I quite enjoyed that. <laughs> when it wasn't insulting me directly. <laughs> Phoenix, nice. Strong <laughs> bad end is accused of strong, but yeah, okay. Here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get a bad end real quick. We got a good end, let's get a bad end now. Yeah, I have to see at least one bad end too. <laughs> you, Elizabeth, you drowned the hawk. Now, why the fuck would I do that? I made the hawk in the first place. What proof do you have for this accusation? Prove you did it, okay? First piece of evidence is... The Dust Bunnies. <laughs> Yay, proof! <laughs> evidence is... Dirty Knife. This knife was clearly used on the suit, and recently, too. Yes, I had to repair it the other day. I fully admit I take far too much pleasure in stabbing the fucking bathroom when I do, but I fix what I cut. Oswald, what does the knife have to do with driving the hawk? Are you having memory problems? Oh, whoops. Third and final piece of evidence is... Kids' letters. <laughs> I was literally saying, I was just scared of the children. Can't say I disagree with them. But playing the mascot suits scare, ch suits scare children. It's not like this one was that bad. Wait, is there best end as well? Heard to whisper something into her ear. Really? Multiple records? There's an official worst mascot trophy in the storage room? Okay, I guess I was wrong. Still not really relevant to the crime, though. I don't think we really proved anything, did we? You didn't even find the murderer. At this point, I think all you really, you all really did kill the hawk. That was so bad. Mutilated root. Bad end. Oh no. <laughs> I think I got the best end as well. Yeah. <laughs> now that was serious. That was very, very entertaining. You guys did a really good job on that. Um, I like Heather, but holy God, is she a bitch to voice. 